profession due to ever increasing cost of agricultural inputs relatively low yield and vagaries of prices more than that of weather increasing rural population is now migrating to cities in search of alternate livelihoods and this raises serious questions on the future of farming sector in this situation adopting a system of cultivation with low cost of agricultural inputs increased yield and high income even in small land holdings is the panacea the present model aptly named annapurna is one such system of crop cultivation that offers a ray of hope to the farming community let us look at the annapurna model the plot of land that we see is vacant without any crop the area of this land is half an acre now a trench of 18 inches or 1.5 feet width and 6 inches depth needs to be dug along the boundary we can now see the trench in the picture after this beds of 7 feet width have to be made followed by a trench of 2 feet width and 6 inches step the soil taken out from the trenches is to be spread evenly on the bed we can now observe the process now we notice that the height of this 7 feet bed is slightly raised in order to make it more fertile some organic manure and tank silt can be added to the bed the plot is now ready with rich microbial cultures and nutrients cropping pattern now let us see the variety of crops that can be cultivated in this plot we can plant perennial or horticultural plants like mango jackfruit etc tenant farmers can grow short duration plants like pomegranate papaya drumstick banana etc we can also grow only vegetables leafy vegetables millets pulses etc we can also plant marigold chrysanthemum for trap crops and agave mehndi jowar maize red gram as bodhi crops while planting fruit bearing varieties like mango jackfruit we should bear in mind that the canopy of our trees remains within our own field to ensure this they should be planted 6 feet within the boundaries and their branches should be pruned as they grow bigger system of rice intensification that is sri system can be adopted for cultivation of not only paddy but wheat ragi maize and other millets also many vegetable crops can be grown with proper spacing and the use of dvd makes farming a less labor intensive the planting or harvesting of the crops on all the beds in the half acre of plot is not done at a time different crops that mature at different times are grown one after the other this ensures good yield and more income from the crops around the year the bed on which the crop is ready for harvest alone will be collected and the next sowing or planting is done in a sequence before 
the need for many laborers at one time will not grace moreover the difficulties in selling of the crop at a time or distressed sale can be avoided spacing between different crops big trees such as mango jackfruit jamun and amla should be planted 36 feet apart guava chiku lemon and pomegranate saplings can be planted in between the mango plants papaya drumstick banana that occupy less space should be planted at a space of 9 feet between the second set of trees listed above the above plant should be planted along the same row across the plot of land lean space to cultivate single variety of vegetables pulses millets etc on each bed as seen here alternate cropping and crop rotation should be adopted for each bed to control this organic farming organic farming practices need to be followed for soil enrichment treating seeds control of pests and diseases the fundamental requirement for organic farming is native cows we know that the use of cow dung and cow urine has proven to give better yield in addition milk and milk products also will help increase families nutrition health and income regular use of farm yard manure nadip compost amrita mitti amrita jalam rava jeeva and nemastram injures growth of healthy crops and prevents damage due to pests and diseases in this model water is made available to the bed by irrigating the trenches once in 8 to 10 days which provides adequate moisture to the roots this makes it easy for the farmer to irrigate the land besides conserving water we need to note that the plants require moisture but not standing water so far we have seen the cultivation of crops with good water resources annapurna model can also be adopted in areas without adequate source of irrigation power supply for this mulching and drip irrigation with manual pumping or watering enables the farmer to reap good harvest all through the year and earn regular income farm pond and alternative livelihoods a farm pond at the lower portion of the land should be dug to store the excess water that otherwise flows out causing soil erosion nutrients depletion and damage to the crops when aquaculture is taken up in this pond it will help farmers get extra food and income a part of the farm pond can be covered to make a shelter with a close linnet wire mesh few poultry birds can be reared in this The droppings of the poultry birds will serve as feed for the fish in the pond and this generates extra income. There is good number of farmers using shade nets to cover the fish pond to protect the fish from direct sunlight. Vegetable creepers like ridge guard, bottle guard etc can be grown around the pond which will make a natural shade over the pond providing vegetables. by additional income thus annapurna model is an intensive integrated adoptable organic farming model that ensures food security annapurna sustainable crop model